you guys, what is going on? This is Matt here, and welcome to the next video in how to create your own custom zombies map for World at War on the PC. So, then, guys, in this video, this is how to actually add in the zombies. So, of course, you need to extend the floor first of all, just for the zombies to actually walk along something. So, then, guys, that's pretty much like the um, like the extremely first part that you need to do, like the first, the very, very first thing you need to do when adding your zombies because, of course, you don't want them to just fall through the map. You need to actually stand on something. So then, next, you need to right click in your grid view, go over to Actor, Axis, Zombie, Dure, um, Burr underscore SS Honor. Okay, you need to place them into your map. Now, you won't we'll actually see this guy in your map. Um, it's just a reference so we can see where the zombies will be spawning. Now, I'm going to try and make it just so you can't, you can't see him from that window because, of course, when the zombies spawn, the zombies will actually spawn where he stood. You won't see him, but you'll see a zombie just spawn there. And of course, you don't really want to see a zombie just stood there. So, you know, try and make it as out of view as you possibly can from the windows, you know, so you can't see him. Of course, this window here won't be able to see him whatsoever because he's on the other side. But, um, yeah, you know, just try and make him a bit out of sight. Most people would just, like, put a wall there or something so you can walk around it. But, go keep this nice and simple so we're not adding in extra things that we don't need to add. So then. Next, you need to make sure everything's all been deselected, and click on your actor. Okay, so we need to give them these key values. Um, yeah, these these keys and values. So then, first of all, we need to give him. Uh, actually, yeah, that's perfectly set up there. So I get a name, start zone spawners. Yep, we need to give him that. Now, what that means is, well, actually, once we've done the coding for this guy, like you know, the key keys and values for this guy, we will actually be adding in the in a zone here. In the same video, we'll be, yeah, we'll be adding in the zone, and that's pretty much when you spawn into the map. Um, the coding for the actual map, like you know, the coding that you generated um, using the script placer. Um, if you did use the same script placer that I gave you in um, video number one, which was installing the mod tools, uh, basically when you first spawn, the uh, the activated zone that you activate first of all is called the start zone. So start underscore zone. And then once you enter that zone, um, the start zone will activate the start zone spawners. Okay, that's the way that works. Now, if you didn't use the script placer that I gave you, then it could be initial zone. So if it doesn't work, you know, when you actually go into game with it, then it could be initial zone. Okay, so just experiment with them. But if you use the one I used, I definitely recommend using it. Um, it it will be initial. I mean, start zone. So next, we need to do count. Then what was that sound? That was quite loud. <laughs> so for any headphone users there, if you could actually hear that. Next you need to do script note worthy, like that. And this is going to be zombie underscore spawner. Now I will actually be putting all these in the description guys, so you can just copy and paste them. Um, really easy there. Next you need to do force spawn. That value to one. Now you need to make sure everything is all correct here, or else it will not work. Next you need to do spawn flags three. Now you should see this guy turn yellow. <clears throat> should see the box around him turn yellow, uh, from red to yellow. And um, if it does, then you've done it correctly. So then, next you need to actually add in the zone, of course. Now to do that, you right click on your grid view. You go down to info and volume. Now you need to drag this over like the actual map. You don't you don't need to drag it over the zombie. You can do if you want to, but I'm not going to do. Uh, you don't need to. So yeah, just put it over like the um, the area that the plate like you know the zone area. So yeah. So next we need to click on this volume. Click the N key. Um, by the way, yeah, that's how you bring up the zombie thing. Like this window for the zombie, you press the N key on your keyboard, and it'll bring up the entity window. So. For this one, we need to be doing two KVPs. First one's going to be target name. Again, they'll be in the description below for you guys to copy. It's going to be start a zone. Now, what that means is pretty much when you spawn into the map, the coding behind the actual map, like the like the generated coding that we that you know that was generated when we use script placer, basically says when the map loads, activate the start zone. Okay this tag so the name of this is start zone okay and in the coding it says target start zone okay so 
it activates this zone. Then of course when this zone is when this zone is activated, we need to activate that zombie. So to do this, we do target start zone spawners because of course we named that guy's target name as start zone spawners. So that's pretty much all you've just done there guys you've just linked it up so you've activated the zone when the map first starts and then you've also activated the zombie for when this zone is activated really easy now if you've done all that correctly you should see a yellow line going from the center of that zone to your zombie and that's how you know you've done that perfectly correctly but of course the next thing is you need to do some path nodes and that's to tell the zombie where to walk because the zombie will just stand there and it'll just start looking around so to do this you need to, I prefer just to go into the bird's eye view like this, um, I just find it a bit easier. You need to right click and go to node and go down to path node and you'll get this purple pink sort of box. Now I always put it one block over the floor, it's just what I do. Now you can place it perfectly. The perfect path node placement for me, what I, what I usually use is, um, i just show you guys here. Um, I tend to put them on like the cross sections of these parts, just what I do, and I do it in this sort of spacing. So I try to have two block, like two of these sort of blocks, um, apart-ish. So yeah, uh, wait, I need to. Oh, there we go. See, that's how I usually do my path nodes. I'll be doing that in the actual main room here, but of course, you're not going to be doing that on this part here because it's only quite a thin piece. So you know, just quickly put them in nothing too much now again you know a lot of people wouldn't put two here no I'm not gonna put two here you actually only need one there um, yeah <laughs> you, you don't you don't need too many of these now make sure you don't have any of them touching so for example if you have one like that where there's a bit of a gap be perfectly fine but if you have it like that or like that you will get an error okay so make sure you keep them nice spaced apart and yeah you shouldn't have any problems there again I'm pressing space bar just to copy these over so then next we need to actually put them into the map and I'm going to do one in the centre and I'm going to do it like this sort of pattern just so I have a good um, space in between each one and it pretty much covers the entire map perfectly well so as, so as you can see we've got all the path nodes all in now now as the zombies climb over through these windows it's going to activate these not activate I'm sorry but like, the zombie will follow these around um, of course you know depending on where your player is so yeah now I think well I, I don't have any errors when, when I'm doing this you know if you have them extremely close to the thing just like that it's n they're not actually touching well they kind of are but nothing to actually cause any problems as you can see there they are just like just barely there so that should be perfectly fine um, I'll find out when I'm compiling the map in the in a couple of videos time but I do that quite a lot and I've never once got an error. You can just you know take it out if you really want to, but of course the zombies then will have a bit of a difficult time if you're over here. So you know, just for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna move it out a little bit, just in case I do actually get any errors. You know, just move it away from the window a little bit. And yeah guys, you'll be perfectly fine there. So once you've done that, you are pretty much done there. You've added the zombies in, you've also path noded everything. And yeah guys, that is pretty much done now. So yeah, thank you very, very much for watching this. Thanks for the support as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be adding in the player spawns, um, and then after that we'll be doing things like mystery box, um, perks, and the power switches and the pack a punch and things like that. So you guys, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys later. Also, make sure you do save your map after each time you do something. It's always best. <laughs> so you guys, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys later.